Hello! Today I will show current students how to view their degree requirements in the Student Planning feature in Self-Service. If you need help navigating to this tool, please see the previous video in this series, Navigating to Student Planner and Finding Your Advisor. After navigating to the Student Planning tool in Self-Service, I will select Go to My Progress to see my degree requirements. I can easily switch between the Plan and Schedule tool and the My Progress tool through the Student Planning heading above. After clicking Go to My Progress, I see an electronic display of my program and requirements. You may have multiple programs listed in this view. If so, you can toggle between programs by using the left and right arrow keys. If you would like to view your progress in a different program, you can use the View a New Program tool to pull up any curriculum program offered at Wake Tech. This tool does not change your major, and it's for viewing purposes only. If you would like to change your major, please reach out to us as soon as possible at advising at waketech.edu for next steps. It's important to remember that financial aid will not pay for classes that you take outside of your listed program. The My Progress page is also where I see my cumulative and program grade point averages or GPA. If this is your first semester at Wake Tech, or you do not yet have any graded credit hours taken at Wake Tech, you will not yet have a GPA. Transfer coursework does not count towards your Wake Tech GPA. For example, you will see that under my account, I have transfer credits from another institution that appear with grades TA or TB. These grades begin with the letter T because they are transfer credits and do not apply to my Wake Tech GPA. Let's take a look at the Associates in Arts College Transfer Program. The requirements are complex for this degree, so I need to read carefully. I can scroll down to see the requirements that make up my degree. These are not necessarily in the order I will take the courses. Courses that count towards specific requirements will appear in green under the requirement they are meeting. Until the requirement is completed, you will see if there are credits remaining as well as if a course is planned for this requirement. We will cover planned courses in the next video. Requirement B states that I need nine credits and a minimum of two subjects. All of the classes listed as meeting this requirement are three credits each, so I will need to take three of them to equal nine credits. However, not all courses are three credits. You can click on a class to see its credit amount. For this requirement, you can't take all three classes from the same subject area. Subject areas are the course prefix, such as ENG for English, ART for Art, or COM for Communications. If we scroll down further, we can see that there is a lot of text under the elective course list. First is a list of the courses that count towards this requirement. In addition, there is a rule that I cannot receive credit for both Bio 110 and Bio 111 in this degree. We can also see that Math 263 and Math 271 cannot count towards this degree at the same time. Reading through the requirements is essential to making sure I enroll in the correct courses. To avoid issues in transfer credit, we recommend meeting with an advisor each semester to help you choose classes from these large lists because they can be overwhelming and it can be easy to make mistakes. When I look at the elective list, I see that Art 111 is at the top of that list. I remember seeing that course also listed above in Requirement B. Will this class count for both requirements? The answer is no. To graduate with this degree, I will need 60 unique credit hours, and the system finds a place for the classes I am taking by filling in the requirements at the top first. As I plan and enroll in courses, the computer scans the degree requirements, starting at the top, looking for any unfilled requirement that the course will fit. If the course does not fit any of the open requirements, the course will appear at the bottom under Other Courses. Courses listed here will not be covered under financial aid and are not counting towards your degree. I hope this video was helpful and that you are now able to view your degree requirements. You can always contact an academic advisor with questions. We recommend you meet with an academic advisor each semester to confirm you are on track. Please check out the next video in the series that will cover how to plan classes for future semesters.